Hey everybody, um, today we are going to be doing a try a chapter for March Mystery Madness Prompt Place. Um, I have three books, okay, um, that I picked for this. Um, one of them was Web of Murder by Harry Whittington that I picked up. Um, one is another book by him called A Woman on the Place and the final book was Dorothy B. Hughes um, In a Lonely Place because the web is a place um, is what I've decided for that and it's just because I had it so I wanted to kind of throw that in there as a maybe so let's start with this, since it's in my hot little hand right now. Um, this book is actually really cool um, so far. It's uh, this lawyer who, I think it works because of how I'm picturing him. If he's not supposed to be that way, I don't know if this works as well. But it's this lawyer who is, um, I would say, over the hill, um, over everything, completely done with life, <laughs> just uh, trying to get through each day. Um, I picture him as old, overweight, barely able to do anything other than lift the glass to his lips. And he has a wife who is um, not a drinker, and they don't seem to have anything in common, and he is just miserable. And um, she's hounding him, and then... Um, apparently life in the bedroom isn't that great for them either. Um, that's pretty much the feeling of the first chapter. Um, where it goes from here, I don't know, but, um, I'll, I will definitely be finishing that, but that was not good enough for a pick for this. Um, the next one I will talk about right now is A Woman on the Place by Whittington. Um. And this didn't feel like enough of a mystery for me. Although something happens at the end of the first chapter that is quite mysterious. But this book feels a lot more Faulkner-ish or um, John Fonte or um, uh, Steinbeck, like along those lines. Um, it's a family that is a husband, a wife, and a child, and a grandfather. And um, the, I think the story is going to be told from the point of view of the kid who was 13, which is really strange for a wedding in book. So, um... That's kind of intriguing, but they are orange farmers, and um, things aren't going well, and it's very cold, and the frost might destroy their crop, and um, they're behind on all their bills. They don't have a lot of money. The wife is in a wheelchair and is nagging the husband like crazy. And the grandfather just sits in front of the fireplace trying to keep warm. And there's all this money trouble talk. Um, and while that's going on, the grandpa is telling a story about, oh, when it was really cold back in my day, and all this stuff. And the wife's losing her marbles over the fact that a lot of the bills haven't been paid. And the husband's trying to keep the books and all this stuff. And they finally just send the kid to bed because he's hearing a bunch of stuff he probably shouldn't be hearing. 
And as he's leaving the room and walking towards his bedroom, that night he hears a knock on the door. Oh yeah? He okay. Let's go he didn't have anything to teach us today. Oh. <laughs> I have nothing to teach you. Like, I have nothing new, so if you have no questions, we can go. <laughs> okay. Um, then let me just finish this video and then I'll upload the other one and we'll go. Um so yeah, so that book doesn't really have a whole lot of mystery other than who's at the door, and I have a feeling that'll be answered quite quickly in the second chapter um so that was a no-go and this doesn't seem like a typical book from good old hair so um i will finish it um but it's just i'm not in a hurry to do so and then we have um in a lonely place and if you're on the march mystery madness discord or um yeah, if you're there, you know that's what I've been reading. So there's the spoiler alert. Um, now this book, this chap, the first chapter here opens up with um, this guy following a girl through um, L.A. Um, it's very atmospheric. This is the book I picked. And I picked it mainly because I love the movie so much with Humphrey Bogart. Um... And I'm hoping against hope that the book lives up to the film, which, um, it doesn't because I've already finished it and it was a slog. I'm just going to do this like this. We're not even going to go any further. I read the book. It wasn't very good. Um, I gave it two stars, uh, I was not happy with it. Um, not because of anything other than the fact of it just drags. And it's a short book. So the fact that I felt like it was dragging was really weird. Um, but it's about a dude who is a killer and he's living in L.A. Um quite recently just got to town and um a buddy of his from the war he looks up just to like see how he's doing because they were really close and it turns out since the last time they spoke not only is he married but he's a homicide detective and um he's actually working on the case of the strangler murders that he is in fact guilty of. Now the thing about this book that's strange is that they make it to where you think he's the killer but then like try to make it to where maybe he's not but he obviously is and um uh like that whole bit was um kind of weird and um he meets a woman in his building and falls in love with her and is like thinking like maybe I could you know I won't have to do this anymore this is great you know um but then things happen so um anyway um this try a chapter was not that exciting. Um, all the books sound okay, and the book I picked wasn't amazing. So um, hopefully I'll have better luck with the next one.